Hi, are you having trouble achieving the ideal contact point on your serve? Is your club pro repeatedly saying to you, reach up, reach up, reach up? It's one of the most common phrases we hear when coaches are teaching the serve, reach up. But the big missing piece is how do you reach up? What creates that movement? How do you get natural extension without a lot of effort? How does that happen? Got a great lesson for you today. Hi. My name is John Craig, USPTA Elite Professional, and I've got a great video for you today that's going to help you understand where that ideal contact point is and how to get to that contact point. So where is the ideal contact point to get your optimum power and control on the serve? Well, the ideal contact point, and you'll see most players, certainly most professionals, make contact in this area, and this is a bit of a, a myth and a little bit of a controversy in the coaching world because we often hear the term one o'clock. One o'clock, hit the ball at one o'clock. But in reality, if you watch the high performance players in the game today, they make contact more at 12 o'clock. They make contact with the, with the contact point between the shoulder and the head right in here. And I call this the slot of power. This is the place where your shoulder can really be active as it brings the racket from the edge to the contact, and that is the place you want to be making contact with the ball. The idea of making contact out at one o'clock is really restrictive. A lot of coaches teach that because it enables the student to develop a slice serve, but that is not the place where you're going to get the ideal power and control as you develop your skills. Even the slice serve itself is going to be played inside the shoulder because we want to get the shoulder to be active in rotating the racket from the edge to contact. And that movement itself cannot happen when you're out there off to the right, okay? It just weakens the serve significantly. So the ideal contact point from your vantage point here is between the shoulder, inside the shoulder, and right inside the shoulder, and the head right about right there. That's gonna be it. And you can see also that the racket's on an angle. The racket is not directly above the hand. If I tried to hit the serve with a full extension in a straight line, no doubt the swing would weaken and I would not be able to rotate my shoulder through. So the idea of getting maximum extension to the point where you're stretching will actually deplete your swing of power. The extension should be comfortable and natural and the racket should be on a slight angle inside the hand as you make contact for most serves. Okay. From a side view, we want to make contact. We want the contact to be slightly in front of you. So you're actually looking from behind and you're looking at it here. And this would be an ideal contact point. So from the side view, it's slightly in front. I've got a comfortable natural extension. And then from a front view, it's inside the shoulder and the ear. So that is where the ideal contact point is. Now, the big question is, how do we get to that contact point? And this is something that I have never really heard anyone explain correctly or accurately, okay? Believe it or not, it's your non-dominant hand that's gonna help get you there. So I have never seen anyone in history get to the ideal contact point, comfortable extension, without first getting a reversal with an extension of the non-dominant hand. I've never seen anyone in history get there by going like, this. So in reality, the way I teach the serve is the non-dominant hand, and you know this from the previous video, the non-dominant hand is going to lead you into the trophy position where you get a strong extension and reversal. And then the left hand is going to pull away and rotate you and then hold your balance as you make contact to there, to your contact. Okay. So the left hand is playing a big role in getting your shoulder over shoulder action in conjunction with your legs, left arm and legs, that's going to help propel you naturally and comfortably to the contact point without a lot of effort. So from the front vantage point, I go into a beautiful, strong trophy position, stretch, push with my legs, pull away with the hand, and up she goes. And that's how I get to my contact point. So the trophy position and the balance that we presented in an earlier video is critical to getting the contact. And then the knowledge of where the contact point is and how the two 
big pieces, the dr leg drive and the non-dominant arm, actually help you get to contact. When I'm serving and I'm going to contact, I am not manufacturing any kind of a swing at all. My, my playing arm is just going along for the ride. So get out and practice. And in the previous video where we worked on the trophy position, we, we had an exercise where you just simply stopped there. And then you relaxed and came back down. So the next stage would be to get to the trophy position and then practice how you synchronize the movement and to get to contact. And one of the things I do, which may seem counterintuitive, is I have my students practice stopping on contact. So again, what I want to find out here is do they understand the feeling of how they get to contact and can they hold the balance at contact? Can they indeed hold the balance? And you can see I'm up on my toes. I'm able to hold my balance. That's critical because it tells you what? That I'm still in control of my movement so that I'm not falling. So if, when you practice, practice you know, going to contact and coming up and stopping on contact. Okay? Stopping on contact. And look up at it like you're really seeing a ball there. And that's really going to help you develop how you make your move from the trophy position to the contact point. I hope you really enjoyed and got a lot of value out of this video today. If you would like to learn more, and of course there's so much more to learn about the serve, well I have great news for you. I have a free series of videos, instructional videos on the serve. All you got to do is click the description below or anywhere in this video and you will have access to my free video course which is going to help you understand all of these concepts and more in greater detail. So click below, click here on the body and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.